Although Buddhism is a religion, I also think of it as physical therapy for the mind. I believe that most of us live in what is considered conventional or relative truth. And that means that we go through our lives seeing everything as it relates to me. We feel annoyed when things don't go the way that I planned it. We feel joy when things happen in my favor. We see the world in dualistic terms. Good, bad, right, wrong, us, and them. In other words, we live through our egos. <laughs> Over 2,000 years ago, the Buddha said that this way of looking at the world is what causes our suffering. We're literally sick of ourselves. Actual physical therapy helps with chronic pain and increases mobility. Repetitive stress injuries can result from using improper or limited movement over and over. A prescribed therapeutic exercise can help alleviate the pain and increase the range of motion. Spiritual practice does the same thing for the mind by easing that tenacious grip we have on having things work out our way and learning how to accept things as they happen without being devastated if it's not in our favor. The concept of ultimate truth or absolute truth is seeing everything without making it about me and what I like and dislike. It's seeing how everything is interconnected. I used to try to imagine what this world would be like if there were no people in it. There would be nobody to categorize and label anything. There would be nobody placing value on things. No differentiating between a flower and a weed. I'm grateful that there are people in the world. It can be awe-inspiring to contemplate how the progress we see in the world today is a continuation of the progress that was made by the people who came before us. In this way, we are even interconnected with the past. Even a non-Buddhist can use Buddhist practices to get out of stuck thinking patterns and increase awareness. His Holiness the Dalai Lama says that if it seems true, then use it. If it doesn't, leave it. <laughs>